thanks for being here today for our introductory press conference with P.J. Washington Jr. and Daniel Gafford. Um, in a moment, I'm going to turn it to our president of basketball operations and GM, uh, Eagle Harrison, for some opening remarks, and then we'll go into questions. If you have a question, uh, please raise your hand. Um, Kyle and Tien have the mics, and we'll come around and find you, and please state your name and affiliation. Um, so without further ado, uh, Eagle, take it away. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we're super excited as an organization to introduce both these guys. Um, the trade deadline, as you know, is always kind of a hectic thing, but we came in there with, with um, three goals, and we feel like we accomplished them. We wanted to get bigger, we wanted to get more depth, and we also wanted to get uh, some more scoring in the front court. And these gentlemen, um, they represent all of that. Um, so we're really excited to have them, um, and we, we, think, we think we did accomplished our goals, and we think that our team is better because of that. Questions? Skyler? Skyler Dixon with the AP. Are you guys going to play today? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Henderson, cHandle.com. So, PJ, back home. Um, how does it feel for you going up as a Mavs fan, watching guys like Dirk being able to play for this team? Uh, I feel like it all come full circle for me. Uh, obviously, growing up here as a kid, I've always wanted to play here. So, just being here, um, just it's been a dream come true, and I'm just excited to get started. Uh, Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, I got one for both you guys. Daniel, I'll start with you. Um, you know, obviously, this team seems to play to your strengths in terms of lob threat, mm -hmm. uh, rim runner, that sort of thing. How do you envision kind of the tag team with you and, and Lively working out? And you know, w what are your thoughts on on his game uh, at this point? Um, with Lively, I mean, I see a lot of similarities for sure. You know, when I first played against him when I was at Washington, I was just like, oh man, it's like I'm playing against myself at the end of the day. Um, but really, just you know, it's going to be a one-two punch. You know, no matter how the lineup is, it's going to be for sure. Other team is going to be like, damn, um, <laughs> can't really just keep these guys off the glass. Can't really just keep these guys from having energy. At the end of the day, they're going to be going to be flying around everywhere. I do a lot of screaming. I don't know if Lively does, but for sure, <laughs> it's going to be just a lot of energy. And I mean, I can't wait for it. I'm really excited. So, you no know, sky's the limit for us. And then PJ, um, you know, obviously Luca and Kyrie going to have the ball in their hands a lot. They get doubled a ton. How, how do you envision yourself fitting with them? You know, how do you think you, you can adapt your game to kind of maximize your strengths uh, playing with those two guys? I think it's going to be great. Uh, they bring so much attention. So um, it's going to be a lot of open shots. Uh, it's going to be great for me to be myself and uh, just come in and do what I do. So I'm just excited to bring versatility and uh, come out here and play on both ends of the floor. Lane and Thomas, Mass fans for life. Uh, first, Daniel, each season you played with the Wizards, you had a different point guard. Um, what, what specifically excites you about playing with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving? Um, we're just kind of piggybacking off what PJ said. They bring a lot of attention and just pretty much them getting downhill, something that's going to be good for me because all I got to do is find the right spot at the right time, be in the right position to where I can either get a rebound or I can just catch a lob at the end of the day. And just being with two guys like that, Kyrie was my favorite kind of like point guard growing up in high school and stuff ever since the Kyrie won. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited to be playing with both of these guys at the end of the day. <laughs> and PJ, uh, what area of your game specifically are you looking forward to um, showcasing here with the Dallas Mavericks that maybe you didn't um, with the Charlotte Hornets? Uh, for me, I just want to be uh, very versatile on the defensive end, guarding multiple positions, and uh, just showing how good I can be on that end. Um, I feel like, obviously, Charlotte, we weren't really good at defense, but I feel like I can uh, bring a lot of defense to this team. Hey, Gangsta from Locked On Network. Uh, starting with PJ, both of you guys were not in a situation where your teams were fighting for playoff position. Now the Mavericks are. They're in this run, and it's, it's really heated right now, and they need every game. What have you guys thought about the transition from going from a team like that to now every game matters? Uh, it's exciting. Um, it's everything you want to, uh, as, a, as a player in the NBA to be on a team that's uh, trying to contend and win. So I think it's great. Um, I'm just super excited to be here, and I can't wait to get started. Uh, that's for sure taking the next step in the right direction. I mean, you know, you go from a team to where we weren't able to be in a position to where we are now. It's just, you know, 
kind of like locking in again. For sure. It's kind of like a start of another season for us. So pretty much coming in and just picking up where, you know, it was left off from the last game from the last team that we were on, I would say. Um, Rashad Miller, Dallas Weekly. Um, this is a two-part question. The first one is, um, I know Nico talked in New York about you guys' defensive um, presence, but what do you give on the offensive side? Um I feel like I mean I can shoot the three ball. I can get. Uh, I can drive closeouts. I can play make. So for me, just being versatile, like I said, and just doing all those things at a very high level. I mean, every chance I get, I try to be on the rim. At the end of the day, you know, blocking shots, rebounding the ball, um, just putting myself in the right position at the right time. So yeah, pretty much it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and the second question is: the Mavericks have gotten way younger than in the past. How does it feel to be a part of that young group? feels great. I mean, we we still young, so to just be here with a bunch of young guys that are very talented and uh, ready to win is all you want. So we're excited. Yeah, I'm about to say just coming in and just seeing just, you know, the age and how younger for sure that the, from the team that I was with to the team that I'm on now is it's really is a, dope, a dope experience that I'm really waiting for at the end of the day. I'm excited and I can't wait to get, uh, get going. My bad. <laughs> Hi, this is Dorothy Gentry with iMessenger Media. It's a question for both of you. Talk a little bit about your motivation. What what gets you going? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Uh, my motivation for me, um, my kids, um, seeing them, and uh, just want to do everything I can for them and put them in a better position in their lives, and hopefully one day they're, they're on this stage and uh, playing basketball as well. Mine is my family. Um, being in Dallas, I'm very much more closer to my hometown now. I'm like three hours away from my home. Well, three, four, five hours. Ooh, ain't nobody really paying attention to it. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a lot more closer to home. And just having my city just be excited for me to be a lot more closer to them is just something that kind of like pushes me to be the best that I can be. You know, I have my family behind me and everybody from my family to my city, they're pushing me to be the best player I can be. So that's what wakes me up every morning, gets me going, gets my blood boiling. Yeah, PJ, you mentioned growing up here. What I know you went to high school here for a while. What years did you kind of grow up here? And what are some of your fondest memories of maybe going to Mavs games? So uh, I got here in first grade, and then I left my uh, sophomore year of high school. And uh, growing up, I mean, I always was playing basketball, but um, one of my team sponsors, he had season tickets uh, right next to the Maniacs. So we used to come to all the home games, and uh, I loved it. So I'm just excited to be here and excited to, uh, to live out this opportunity. And then as the trade deadline neared, I mean, obviously you probably had a pretty good idea that Dallas was interested in you. How excited maybe did your family start getting at that point? I think I was more excited than anybody, but uh, like I, I, I just couldn't wait for it to happen. So, I mean, for me, it's just a dream come true. I think, I think all of them are going to be here. So I had a bunch of family and friends hitting me up. So everybody's been asking me for tickets. So I'm just trying to figure that one out right now. <laughs> uh, something that, or Joey Mistretta with Clutch Point, something that fans are always curious about, the process of finding out you were traded. I'll start with PJ, but it's for both you guys. How did that process happen? And how did you guys find out? Um, I was at a restaurant, uh, me and my wife, and then she was like, she asked me a question. She was like, what would you do if you got traded to the Mavs right now? And it was literally not three minutes later, I had got traded to the Mavs. So <laughs> I would literally jumped out of the restaurant and ran to the car and was just excited. So for me, it's, I'm nothing but excitement. I couldn't sleep, and I'm just ready to start playing. Um, I was on the way to the facility to get ready for um, <clears throat> film and recovery at the time. And then well, he gave me a call, let me know. Like as soon as I got through the gate, that's when I had found out. So I kind of went in, said my goodbyes, let everybody know that, you know, it's not going to be the last time they see me, but it's going to be the last time I'll be in a Wizards jersey, most definitely. So it was a real kind of weird experience because I was like, okay, bet, going in, lock in, get ready for the next game. Now I'm getting ready to go to another city. So it was just something that, you know, I'm, I was used to from getting traded from Chicago. So now just another step in my chapter of my book. Abby Jones, Valley Sports Southwest. Question for both of you. Past players, present players, with Luka Doncic talking about being his teammate brings out the best of their ability as a player. What are you both looking forward to learning about your game or working on in your game playing with a you know player of that caliber? Um, I think just playing with a guy like that is going to be great for our games. Uh, just bring It's going to showcase us a lot more. Um, just being on a, on a bright stage and playing with a guy like that, I mean, he's an MVP in his league for sure. I mean... 
I think he's just a great player, and just to be able to be alongside him is going to be great. Yeah, um, piggybacking off that, I mean, just like I like I've said, from just like my position, being in the right spot at the right time, just learning different ways on how to just be kind of like a threat on the offensive end, and just being in the window for any guy to find me, like Luca, Kyrie, so on and so forth, and just being able to show just you know the offensive ability that I have, and just you know like I said, being ready for anything. Chuck Cooperstein, Mavs Radio, play-by-play. Uh, Dan, I guess you'll get to see your guys on Monday, so <laughs> it won't be, won't be that long. But, uh, okay, you guys, hear about the trade. Give us what the last 40 hours has been like since, you know, when did you get on a plane to get here? Have you worked out? I mean, have you gotten the uh, at least the uh, uh, Reader's Digest version of the playbook? Uh, give us a sense of what that's all about, both of you guys. Um, so, I mean, I got traded and then got on a flight, got here at, like, midnight, um, woke up the next morning around like seven. Um, went through all my uh, testing and stuff. Then uh, got the, pretty much got the playbook, got a, adjusted to everything, and, and now we're here. So yeah. um, ready to play. Yeah, pretty much the same for me. Got here at midnight. Woke up the next morning. Did physicals. Did all the medical stuff. Um, came to the facility. Got used to some of the stuff from the playbook and some of just like the defensive schemes. But now we're here for sure. <laughs> Hi, Dana Larson with Mavs pre and post game show. Um, this Mavs season has just been filled with tons of injuries. Both of you guys have proven to be very durable. How much do you take pride in the availability part of playing in this league? That's the best ability is being available. So for me, I take pride in being able to play, and uh, I just love being able, being able to out, be out there for my teammates and uh, support them. So I'm going to do everything I can to just be out there. Yeah, same. Um, at the end of the day, I try to make sure I hold myself accountable with taking care of my body, no matter if I have, you know, a crazy injury or a minor in injury, whatever it is, I manage to try to stay on top of it at the end of the day and just try to make sure I'm available, be out there for the team, be the energy guy, just doing all the dirty work. Kevin Gray, Mavs Radio. This question is for, for Nico. When you look at what you moved in order to get both PJ and Daniel, knowing what kind of draft capital you had to move as well, how do you feel like this team is now set up for the next couple of years, given some of the things that you'll be looking forward to as far as the roster construction is concerned? How are you feeling about the direction of where this team is based on what you've acquired now? Yeah, I, I feel great about it, honestly. Uh, you know, you got to give a little bit to get, you know, what you want. And so I think that it was what we gave up was worth what we're getting in return. Um, and I also want to say PJ talked about defense. And so, you know, one of the things you guys – don't know is PJ super talented and the game comes easy to him and I love the fact that he talked about defense because we're going to be holding him accountable but he can actually do a lot of things that that uh, he doesn't show all the time uh, because the game does come easy to him so we make sure to push him to, to get the best out of him but he really does have it on both sides of the ball. PJ just going back to you said three hours before the trade was official you um, your wife asked you, what would you think or what would you say if you were traded to the Mavs? What, what was your response? I told her I was going to run out the restaurant, and then I ended up doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then just for both of y'all, just, you know, y'all talked a lot about basketball, but what do y'all like to do outside of basketball? Uh, relax, get some rest, be with my family, uh, spend a lot of time with my kids, uh, watch them grow, and uh, play a lot of video games. 4 <clears throat> 2K. <Okay. Okay. laughs> Um, I'm pretty much the same. I'm a real family-oriented person. Um, so spend a lot of time with the wife, spend a lot of time with my dogs. I got four dogs. Um, and pretty much just find any type of way to kind of like decompress, relax, clear my mind, clear my body at the end of the day. And I play video games too. You know, I play a wide variety. I stream a lot too. So I try whenever I have like a, a decent amount of time on my hands, at least for sure get some type of screen time. <laughs> What's your favorite game? My favorite game right now, uh, Call of Duty. Most definitely, you know, but Need for Speed is like second to that right now. <laughs> we'll do a few more, guys. Skyler? Nico, obviously your job from day one has been building around uh, Luca. Uh, how do you balance, this is three years in a row that you've had a significant roster change close to the deadline. How do you balance the continuity part with getting that roster where you want it? Yeah, good question. I think it's, you know, I believe like our core is still intact. We just added more talent and depth to the core. And so I think, you know, you do want to keep a core intact so that you can build upon it um, versus, you know, it's just turnover, turnover, turnover. So I think our core is intact uh, and we just added pieces that can add to it and make us better. Uh, Rashad Miller again. Um, for, this is for Daniel. 
Um, how soon do you think your family from Arkansas is going to be here? Um, if not today, probably Monday. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a lot that I've seen from just like the past couple of hours. In all honesty, this like everybody was excited even before like the trade talks when they were saying they were seeing that Dallas was interested in me. Like my phone did up. They were all happy for it. They were all happy for me. They was all excited. So, yeah, sooner or later, at the end of the day. I can't believe that they didn't make it anywhere up here today, but for sure, probably Monday, most doubt. Do one more with Dorothy. Uh, this is for Daniel. Okay. Uh, I know you play football a little bit. Do you still follow football? And who do you have tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I played football for one year. I couldn't catch a cold if it was given to me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Uh, I got the 49ers tomorrow, most definitely. Um, and I don't really keep up with it as much. I, you know, of course, you know, pay attention to just like the scores, the highlights and all that. But really just sitting down and just kind of watching it, I don't really find myself doing it as often. Did football help you with basketball? Oh, yeah, it helped me be a little bit more aggressive. But with my hands, yeah, I just had to stick to basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. And now we're going to do a quick photo. Bring the jerseys up. <laughs> Good. 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 Good.